so I've just been on the Facebook and I've seen a post off Tim Gill with uh, all the snow in Manchester. So I thought I'd just have a quick look out of our van this morning and see what we can see. <laughs> you play with your mind ever since you opened your eyes. Don't you know you're hypnotizing to see what they want you to see? Do you know who you really are? What you want? What you even do in here this time? Please, what else are you doing? So we're in Torre La Mata, and it's a beautiful little town filled with lots of UK expats, German expats. It's about a half an hour cycle ride. From Torrevieja. From yeah. Torrevieja, where we've been for the last two nights. Staying again tonight. Yeah, one more night here. And then moving on. It's a nice place. It's like, it's one of those places that isn't filled with high rise holiday apartments. Hotels. Hotels. <laughs> There's really ugly concrete things that are in Torrevieja. <laughs> Unspoiled, is that the word? Yeah, yeah. So, if you're thinking of uh, moving out to Spain, these are the sorts of places I think that you want to be looking for rather than like your main big places. Like, I mean, Torrebiaca, you know, it's, it's nice enough at the moment. I think it will get absolutely rammed in the summer months. Yeah, um, actually got we've got the state agents here. Estate agents They're here. everywhere. There's tons so of them. So let's have a look what the prices are. What have we got here? Um, 118,000 for a. I don't know. 50 metres. So one bed, square. it's the one bed, yeah. One, one bed, bed apartment that. It's not too bad actually. 69,000, 79,000. So they're affordable, aren't they? Yeah. Maybe we should buy one. <laughs> What's the highest? Goes up to two hundred and forty thousand there. We've just cycled here, haven't we? Bikes. Where's here? I've got no idea because I can't remember what you said. Santa something or other. Oh, sorry, Torre La Mata. <laughs> Lovely beach. It was a bit up and downy. I'm not very good with hills on a bike. This is actually quite quite sweet actually. <laughs> I still wouldn't want to be in the uh, in the heat of the summer. I think it's quite nice here at, at the moment, but yeah, summertime was still a bit busy. Um, apparently a big place for expats, English or UK, German, uh, and other European countries. I can't remember what you said now, but quite a few. Okay folks, so just a few things. We're cycling uphill. There's Sue in the background. She's knackered. It's extremely warm and sunny. Everywhere you go, everywhere you turn, in Spain, town, city, village, you see those pharmacy signs. It's an absolute racket. We went and bought some Lemsips and two packets of Strepsils and it was 35 euros. They're everywhere and they're always open. Hey, okay, Sue? Yeah. It's nice to have a bit of a rest. That was a tough one, that. Are you glad we didn't go another 30 minutes down the road? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because we'd have had another glass of wine before we started doing this, wouldn't we? Yep. And then. You'd have been taking your bike back and then coming to meet me and then taking mine back. <laughs> Torrevieja lies about 50 kilometres south of Alicante. It was originally a salt mining and fishing village as it's located between the Mediterranean Sea and two large pink salt lakes known as Las Salinas de Torrevieja. 
In 1803, Charles IV decided to relocate the salt mine production from La Mata to the town of Torrevieja, but in 1829 the town was totally levelled by an earthquake. Salt mining is still an important industry today and still a major employer. Since the mid-20th century, the local economy has grown exponentially due to the Mediterranean tourism industry attracting visitors from elsewhere in Spain as well as tourists from abroad. There's also a large contingency of expats from many different countries. The high number of British residents from Yorkshire has led to Torreviaca being nicknamed Costa del Yorkshire. And apparently, paella served in giant Yorkshire puddings can be found in many of the city's restaurants. So, after a long day on the bikes in glorious sunshine, we headed back to the van and proceeded to do what any other British couple on tour worth their salt would do, and that's to drink copious amounts of red wine before settling down for a good, quiet night's sleep. However, much to Sue's disappointment, things didn't quite go according to plan. Please bear with us for the next few minutes and please cover up the kids' eyes as we introduce you to bedroom camp. Are you good? <laughs> no, I'm not particularly happy about this. No. Here's one of the things that you have to deal with in van life, okay? <laughs> we're just about to go to sleep, but we're literally a couple of meters from some guys and they're having a picnic <laughs> and a few bench. beers on the bench, literally about one or two meters There's away from the van. Several benches you could choose. But they're chosen right outside, yeah. right next to our van. And well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and show you them here. But we need to turn the lights off. Oh, Sue's gonna turn the light up. There you there go. You. Right, so we're in darkness now. Lovely. 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 But it sounds like they're Russian. They're not just using the bench, they brought their own chair. That's fan life Spain style. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is. The fuck's that? There you go, that's that a That was a motorbike taking off. <laughs> <laughs> They've chosen our bench. Yep, or the right bench outside. closest to our window. You know. To well, have a picnic. Who's intruding on who? You see, we're here temporarily. Yep. Yeah. I mean, they're not, they're not being noisy. They're not being like, like they're not having like a like a, a rave or anything. Yeah. So what's your issue with them? But it's just like you 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 go to take the blind down so you can get some air through, and you've got men sat on a bench right right outside you. Damn these people in public spaces where we want to go to sleep. <laughs> And they're not going to disturb me going to sleep, to be fair. But it was just the fact I wanted to take the blind down and yeah, yeah I, I, can't, I feel a bit uncomfortable doing that, to be fair. Yeah. But with men sat. This is the beauty of, right. this, this is the beauty of van life. <laughs> you see, we're in a public space. So this the is the is difference. We're in public here. And the old saying is, an Englishman's home is his castle. But we're not in England, and can this qualify as our home? I think it can. Yeah. So because our can, Matt says, can you transfer? Our Matt your... says, home is where you park it. Yes, it is. So, so therefore, this is our home. So can you transfer your rights <laughs> as an Englishman or woman? Um, well, to the to thing is another country. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Um, Steve's left me in charge of the camera, which is probably quite dangerous because I don't actually know how to work it. So how this is going to end up, I really do not know. We spent last night here and uh, had the best night's sleep yet in Spain. And then if we just walk over here, you can see the sea. Now, I've got your phone in my pocket. Fantastic, right. Tell us your name. Antonio. Antonio, and you, do you live here? No, in Murcia. 
in Mercia? When I work from here. Yeah, okay. And do you come and train at this park often? Yeah, in summer more more than now, but yeah, sometimes. Do you, do you want to tell us anything about the place? You can hold this. This place is fantastic. If you are watching this video, you should come here to, to come to here for sure. How do you pronounce it? Uh, Campo Amor. Campo Amor. Campo Amor. Okay. Desa Campo Amor, Alicante, Spain. Thank you very much. So the next day, Sue and I tackled another workout. Due to the van being low on water and the fact we hadn't showered for a couple of days, we made the decision to take a dip in the Mediterranean Sea to freshen ourselves up as van lifers do. It's not happening. <laughs> We're going to go in the sea. It's not happening. Absolutely not happening. And we've just looked down the road and saw it. Set for it, seen it. <laughs> and it's rough. I thought the Mediterranean is supposed to be calm. I don't know if you can make it out. Right down the end, these big waves coming in. Well, big for the med anyway. Ah, well, they seem to have stopped now. They don't seem to have stopped. <laughs> He'll be fine. He'll be fine. I'll paddle. <laughs> so, this is going to be the end of our 11th episode. Yeah, we didn't upload one too soon. We've been doing it too often and we've been stuck editing all the time. So there'll probably be a little bit fewer and further between each one from now on. Yeah, so we made it down to the beach and it is pretty rough. You're not going to get me in that, okay? You're going to let me go in on my own? Yep. Of course. This is going on. Nothing else is coming off. Okay, let's do this. Well, the truth will set you free. But first, it'll freak you out. Lately, I've been finding it in words long written down. What we need now is all those who will come alive Who know the whole world will change in the blink of an eye